Sign up to the SBR Network and use your free daily bet points to earn real-world prizes. Click on the page and start winning now. Lions coach Jim Schwartz entered 2013 on one of the hottest seats in the NFL. And after the Lions collapsed down the stretch, he was an easy choice to be fired. How will the team fare under new coach Jim Caldwell? Books have the Lions at a total of eight wins for the regular season. The Lions have never won the NFC North. Their last division title was back in 93 when it was still called the Central. And they aren't likely to get a better chance anytime soon than last year. After all, the Packers lost starting quarterback Aaron Rodgers for essentially eight games. And the Bears lost starting quarterback Jay Cutler for nearly six. The Lions have been looking for a competent number two receiver for years to take the pressure off of Johnson. And they hope they finally found one with the Seahawks receiver free agent Golden Tate. He led the Seattle Seahawks with 64 catches and 898 yards and five TDs. There's also talk that the Lions will target a receiver with their first round pick in the draft. Maybe a trade up for Sammy Watkins. Detroit also re-signed tight end Brandon Pettigrew. The major loss here were on the defensive end, which they lost defensive lineman Willie Young, safety Lewis Delmas, and backup quarterback Sean Hill. Meanwhile, Caldwell was not the Lions' first choice to replace Schwartz. Chargers offensive coordinator Ken Weisenhurt was, but he took the Titans' job instead. Caldwell spent last season as Baltimore's offensive coordinator, and that group struggled in a big way. Caldwell did coach the Colts from 2009 to 2011 and was 26 and 22. He did win two playoff games with Indy in his first season, which is more postseason victories than the Lions have since 1957, the year of their last title. Detroit's schedule is dead in the middle of the NFL's 32 teams with opponents 2013 winnings percentage of 492. The Lions play five games against playoff teams. The Lions don't have any two game road swings in the first half of the season as they alternate home and away games every week. The NFL is allowing that 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time game in London to see what type of ratings a start in that early game would get on U.S. television. Clearly, the crucial part of Detroit's schedule is after the bye. That's a three-game homestand, which is sandwiched by two-game road trips. It's the second straight year that the Lions will visit Arizona. Winter weather figures to be a major challenge in Week 16 in Chicago and Week 17 in Green Bay. The Lions haven't been great in cold weathers. Detroit has lost five of its past six in Chicago and will be looking to snap a 23-game losing streak in Wisconsin to the Packers. So in this case, we're going to be leaning on the under eight wins at minus 110. This feels a lot like it might be a push. Avoiding a true road game in Atlanta Georgia Dome is an advantage, although the Lions prefer playing indoors. Detroit seems unlikely to be at eight wins by week 16 and will be an underdog at sportsbooks in those two final road games in the elements. In addition, if Stafford goes down, the Lions are in deep trouble as Kellen Moore is likely the number two. He's never taken a snap in the regular season. For SBR Forums, The Big, this is Dax Floyd.